So this is where I've been hanging out the last year or so, in between doing my own surfing and just generally living life. Just tapping away on the computer, trying to make this film and um, hopefully people will get something from it. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. In a way it's looking back on the last 35 years of surfing and trying to put it into some sort of meaningful context, hanging out on some beautiful beaches around the planet and I just wanted to make a beautiful film about surfing. This film's really aimed at being an expression of the beauty that's involved with surfing. Uh, so this is the beach break in front of my house. It gets this good about once every 10 years or so. So it's about due to happen again. This shot is a few years old now. Beautiful early morning light. Chippo inside the tube. Doing his early morning dawn patrol thing. Yeah, so this is Sunset at the Pass. And that was Jared Sullivan. Cody Simpkins, off the lip. Early morning light. He doesn't surf anymore, unfortunately, I hear. Gifted surfer. Jack Roberton pulling in the barrel south Stradbroke Island and a big wave at Lennox, one of the best days ever. Cody again, going very close but a few nice frames here as he comes at the camera. Down the inside of Lennox Point with Mick Fanning, just really weaving around the barrel and great, great expression. A beautiful backside approach of Peach Shearer here. She twists around and arches. Hero Shane Herring pulling into the barrel at South Stratty. Very quick, very natural surfer, gifted surfer. And Jonathan Jenkins down the inside of Lennox. Beautiful sandbar, early morning. Shane Haran off getting some air. And now we're in Bali. Bit of a spit from the wave at Padang Padang, unknown surfer. And Sean Stickley coming into the inside of second bowl at Padang Padang. And speaking of bowl, here is Bowl, B O L. Probably the best surfer in Bali. Great little ninja like tube riding stance, coming at me incredibly quick. In the barrel. I got ran over at one point, got a little bit of concussion. Jackie O, great spirit, really stoked on living the surfing life. Here he is inside Scar Reef, and this is Scar Reef itself. Minako, living in the hut next door to me at Scar Reef. Amazing to see such a beautiful girl out there in the middle of nowhere just surfing and right into this true spirit adventure of surfing. Line up shot of Nias. I got dropped off the boat. Everyone else went up to Thailand and I got off and stayed for the swell. There's hardly anyone out. This was some of the most crowded surf. A lot of the time I was just surfing into myself. Just it was a wave fest. These local guys have really really tuned into the wave these days, riding high in the barrel. Different shots, different angles, just expressing the different moods of Nias. And I hear the waves got a lot better now since the tsunami, so the beat goes on. A shot from a dinghy. A lot of the way, a lot of the time there was no one out. Anton, he's a gifted goofy foot. Aiming at trying to be a pro surfer. There's so many talented surfers around. Uh, great inspiration to the young kids coming through though. Very vertical off the bottom. The young kids just playing in the shore break, so stoked on having these old boards left behind by travelling surfers. The moonlight now, Byron, 
Red doing his thing. And sometimes I'd get up two o'clock in the morning and Red would be gone and his board would be gone. I realised he'd gone surfing. Neil Purchase, a very gifted shaper and surfer. A true gentleman of the sport, of the art. And Neil Jr. Great backside approach. Some say the best backside tube rider in the world. And it's had some amazing times surfing with him. Just getting so deep and so far back in these tiny little barrels. It's amazing so he can fit a big body so far back in the wave. Grabbing the rail, pulling in. Coming down the inside section of Lennox. Sandbar was perfect this day. Stalling, side slipping, drawing himself up higher in the wave, tail sliding out, and then a bird coming by just to finish it off. George was great help in helping build the water housings for the, the cameras and just inspiring the whole project. Here's Jack with a, a beginner surfer getting them stoked on on the glide. This is shot on the mid north coast, perfect autumn morning. See the shadows, the shadows in the wave, in the water. He's shot in the midday sun, very glary, overexposed. Joel Tudor up at Snapper Rocks on the Gold Coast as he was just travelling through in Bow. All these frames are coloured up. And it's both certainly in front of my house. And again at the pass here, this is a shot from, uh, well, the borders, yellow single fin, when they were making the movie yellow single fin, Matt Armstrong. Beautiful, up on the nose. Great body expression here. Dane Peterson, doing his dance. And Steve Mills into the golden light at the pass. Bow Young pulling in. Rabbit Bartholomew type expression. And Jeff Murray heading into the pass at sunset. Shot through a fisheye lens. And a dolphin just protrudes slightly before Bow Young comes from behind into frame. Very light on his feet, Joel Tudor. Amazing how he can hang up on the nose like that on a pretty weak sort of wave at the pass. Coming into the golden light, just sharing waves, and it was a very mellow vibe out there. These guys are so gifted surf, such gifted surfers, and yet they're just not phased at all by the crowds. And just doing their dance, Cassie Amirdor, great example of female longboarding. And Stephen Slater from a very talented surfing family. And of course another talented surfing family, Bo and Matt Young. Matt doing his thing, shot off the rocks at Angari, just trimming. And uh, here at Missy Ruben Yarth, very much up on the nose. Look how he puts his toes on the back foot. He's up on the toes, really digging that tail in. Great body expression here, balancing up on the nose. And flipping around into a helicopter. As a grommet growing up, watching that young surf at Bells when he'd come down, it's just amazing him taking off on these big waves, like King Kong hanging off the side of a mountain. 
ever since those days in the early 70s, he's really proven the test of time and is a great spokesman for the uh, art of surfing. That's why I wanted to have him finish off the film. Still a fine surfer these days. And a great representative as one of the elders in the tribe of surfing. So for me it's been a, a great form of self-expression and a great project and I just hope people get stoked on it and learn something from it.